Let's start with the painting. It's called The First Homestead, and that's what it depicts. The artist is Gusta Strom, who lived in Beatrice near the site of Daniel Freeman's homestead claim. Painted in 1888, likely working off a photograph. It's a very honest attempt to reproduce what we know of the first homestead. The painting took a beating, for a while tucked behind a door in a U.S. congressman's office, before landing in Kenneth Bay's lab at the Ford Conservation Center. There are problems, like large tears and small holes, a brittle canvas pulling loose at the edges, and lots of dark grime and soot. Remount, clean it, make it brighter, fix the holes, varnish it, all in the next month. All in the next month, you'll see a big difference. We want to, number one, make sure that work of art survives past our generation and forward into the next generation. Uh, but we also want to make sure it's presented in the best way possible, as the artist would have originally intended. So here we have the canvas, which has now been removed from its old wooden stretcher. I've also prepared these areas where there were tears and the canvas was buckling with weights where I've had overnight um, flattening going on so that we can now line the painting and have these tear areas aligned properly. Adhesive is helped by a heated table and vacuum to attach the painting to a new reinforced canvas. So I'm about to start cleaning this painting. Getting rid of decades of exposure to black soot. This darkening of the picture has sort of illusionistically compressed the image. We no longer have that sense of space that the painting was meant to have at one time when you looked at it. Bay's also filling those tears in the canvas. By varnishing, I'm adding a protective layer, but aesthetically, I'm adding a layer that fills in that finely pitted surface and gives a nice even saturation and a slight gloss to the painting. This will bring out some of the color, some it of the will. feel. Uh, not only will it even out the sky, but it'll especially saturate and darken all the dark foreground terrain. How hard is it to match that color? What I actually see is not just one color, but it's a whole sequence of colors. I'm trying to create the same illusion that the original painting has of layering little wisps of color. And I'm using pigment and a uh, paint medium which is easily removable. That, plus a lot of testing, provides a safety net. But to me, working on another artist's creation, owned by someone else, would be nerve-wracking. One of the skills that I've developed is knowing what not to do, knowing the battles to pick, knowing where to stop and knowing my limits, and even conservation can have limits. And so we owe it to the artist and also the owner of the work of art to know what we can't do for them. So that's how I stay out of trouble. So you're done? Yes, the painting treatment is finished and now we can see it much better as it was originally intended. Gusta Strom's The First Homestead leaves refreshed for display at the Homestead National Monument. Bay moves on to more paintings in need of new life. I think art conservation is very important because we only have the material heritage, the artwork, the historic artifacts that we inherited, that, that have come to us down through history. I love it. I love art conservation, and it's, it's what I do.